Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. However, we have an update on the situation with Amazon. It's not just Twitch. Amazon is laying a bunch of people off in scripted, in uh, Prime Video. Uh, it's a freaking bloodbath. They're calling it a bloodbath. Uh, Amazon Video is imploding. And you know, it should be as no surprise to anyone who's been uh, kind of watching the channel, watching other people's takes on this. Lots of news out there about how the Lord of the Rings did not perform the way that they had hoped. Now, it's not solely because of the Lord of the Rings that uh, Amazon is laying off, but it certainly did not help. They pinned everything on this series. They spent like a billion dollars to secure the rights. And yeah, only like 37% of viewers finished the show. They're muddling through with the season two, which they, they did during the strikes. And apparently uh, there was minimal involvement from the producers because they weren't allowed to change anything. I don't know. Um, this is the same show that uh, they fired the Tolkien expert, right? They just made up a bunch of stuff, whole cloth, and they just uh, cast a nerdy looking dude, a guy who looks like he should be working in IT as, as Sauron in season two. I'm, does anybody care? I don't think anybody cares. But I have to wonder if this isn't going to be the end of the uh, the end of the journey if they're not going to sail into the West. Uh, that's what what Amazon is doing. Uh, Bezos is sending his employees off into the uh, the West. So let's uh, talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, no woohoo's, no woohoo's today. But uh, she will give you a woohoo if you buy a book. We've got lots of books for sale, Crimson Wren and previously on Clownfish TV. Uh, both of these books are in stock. She is furiously packing thousands of boxes, uh, thousands of books going out the door. You guys have been awesome. You've got on the second second chance offer, you've got four days, four days left to, uh, as the kids say, secure the bag. So please, um, please grab our bag, grab our sack. Grab Clownfish TV's sack. Grab us by the sack. This come from Deadline. Amazon layoffs. MGM Plus, MGM Scripted TV, and Unscripted Consolidated. Nancy Cotton, Arturo Inturian, Chris Castallo, and Yuri Fleming among those let go. Do I need, do I, I, I don't care who these people are, but they said that uh, there are massive, massive layoffs Several hundred employees across Prime Video and Amazon Studios and then uh, MGM. They said details have emerged about the cuts, which were described by one source close to the company as a bloodbath. A bloodbath. Uh, most of the exits are a result of the integration of MGM Scripted uh, with, uh, with uh, Amazon Prime Video and Studios. Uh, they said the teams, uh, Sloan and Posnick's teams, will continue to work closely with the Studios team in developing for Prime Video. Also impacted by layoffs and consolidation move are multiple other Amazon MGM studio teams, including studio marketing, business operations, and Amazon MGM studios distribution teams, as well as the company's local, local originals business. Huh. Amazon studios head Jennifer Salk in Brereton just addressed the organizational change and the layoffs in an internal memo, also revealing a consolidation of Amazon Studios and MGM theatrical distribution units. The goal for the team is the division will be able to produce more premium series in the vein of Wednesday from Netflix, uh, The Handmaid's Tale, and Fargo for third for third party broadcasters, as well as for MGM Plus. Now Amazon bought MGM; they spent a lot of money. I think it was like eight billion. I think it was something like eight billion dollars. There is a finite amount of money going around, even for a guy like Jeff Bezos, you know, he has to look at it like how much money are we dumping into this stuff, this Hollywood stuff. And we've been covering the impending fall of Hollywood. In fact, uh, Skydance now is, is looking at Paramount in all cash deal. And Tom Cruise just jumped ship from, from Paramount. He went to Warner brothers. Now there was talk that Warner brothers and Paramount were going to merge, but this might not be the case. And Warner brothers isn't doing very well either. I mean, this year, we did that video yesterday talking about how 2024 is going to be the day of reckoning for Hollywood. Actually, it's going to be more like a wrecking ball for Hollywood. Streaming services, uh, studios, uh, animation, uh, everything. Everything is going to be affected by this. Movie theater chains. It's all going to be affected. 
you know, the dominoes were you know, knocked over first during the pandemic. And then as the venture capital ran out and as the strikes dragged on and as uh, consumer fatigue wore, wore in with a lot of these garbage shows like Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, the Power of the Rings of the Lord of the Power of the Rings or whatever the hell they're calling it, fake Tolkien, fake Tolkien, just like fake Star Wars and fake Marvel, fake Tolkien, as consumer fatigue started to set in. They started canceling their streaming subscriptions. And Prime Prime's expensive now. Was Prime like $200 or some crazy crap like that? It used to be like $75 a year. It's insane. Uh, yeah, it said other impacted script execs are said to include the development executive for Amazon Studios. Um, we have uh, the creative executive in charge of first look and overall deals and the development executive of genre series at Amazon Studios. I don't know if we're getting that Shira live action show on Amazon. Uh, Chris Costello, who's been with the company since 2018, is also leaving. He joined the company as head of unscripted TV for Amazon Studios last year, but he's moving to the streamers, or he was moving to the streamer scripted division. Now he's leaving the company. Elsewhere on the unscripted side, we gather uh, most of Amazon Studios' U.S. unscripted programming team is safe. Yeah, why? Unscripted is, is cheap. You don't have to deal with the writers. You don't have to deal with the WGA. You know, anybody can have a TV show now. Like, uh, seriously, they're like Warner Brothers looks at this. They're looking at Discovery and they're looking at Warner Brothers. And they're like, why are we spending so much money on content for HBO Max, for like Westworld and, you know, uh, Raised by Wolves and all these really expensive science fiction shows when we can just get some like rednecks to chase Bigfoot or something and film them. And just as many, if not more people are going to watch that. And it's going to cost us a hell of a lot less we're going to get more bang for our buck. And that's what they're looking at. You know, this is the new reality. I think I think we're not going to see a lot of expensive shows. We're not going to see a lot of the stuff that, you know, Disney was putting out. Even they're they're even talking they're going to pare back on you know what what to expect from Marvel and Star Wars on Disney Plus. Basically, a, a TV experience, not a movie experience. Oh, trust me. Trust me, Disney, we know. Uh, we know we're getting a a cheap TV experience on on Disney Plus, but yeah, this isn't this isn't good. Uh, Deadline understands many of the employees affected turned up or logged on to work this morning to an email informing them of the layoffs, and that there is an HR video call later this morning that will reveal severance packages. Oh my God, yeah, this isn't good. So yeah. Yep, they're trying to explain it. They're basically like, change is always hard. Decisions and decisions to lose valued employees are not ones we take lightly. As shared this morning, we remain optimistic about the long-term future of Amazon and MGM Studios. And we continue to make significant investments toward making Prime the most loved entertainment hub for customers globally. Get rid of this shit. Get rid of this and you might have you might have a chance. Because some of our stuff's pretty good. You know, the boys is pretty good. You know? Um I know it's not an easy time for any of you. If you have questions, shoot me an email. You know, it's like, I i mean, they have to explain it. I don't know how else you can explain it. Uh, other than, you know, we done fucked up. Uh, we made some bad choices. People aren't buying our shit. They're not paying for our shit anymore. We overspent on MGM. You know, Amazon is absolutely ruthless. At this point, I mean, they're cutting Twitch down to nothing. They're cutting Amazon Studios down to nothing. Uh, this this article was put out last year, and this is where it came out that only 37% of domestic viewers completed Lord of the Rings. Overseas, only 45% of people completed Lord of the Rings. A 50% completion rate would be a solid but not spectacular result. So it's been a huge, huge flop. You know, The Boys is doing better than the Lord of the Rings. It, it, it's been a massive failure. Now, again, that's not everything, but it sure as hell didn't help. It was a high profile fuck up. A billion dollars, I think, they paid for the rights. And this is what they do with Lord of the Rings. They turn it into a laughing stock. And a lot of people just noped out. You know, they didn't watch it. And you can't spend that kind of money on a TV show and not have anybody watch and not expect there to be cutbacks, you know, when, when times are tough. And that's exactly what's going on. So, 
I don't know, guys. It's gonna be very interesting to watch. I don't, I don't know how much more uh, rings of power we're gonna get after this next season. They, they said they have a, a five season arc planned. I don't, I don't really see that happening. I could be wrong, but I don't see it happening. I'm gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.